first. We have one strip of chromatography paper, and we're going to mark that with a green Expo wet erase marker, just right down the middle. You can see here, and we are going to fill our 250 milliliter beaker with water from the tap. Going to carefully pour 15 milliliters of water. And you have to make sure that you are eye level so you can read the meniscus. Remember, you want to read from the bottom. So we're at 15 milliliters, and we're going to take our green chromatography paper, stick it down into the water, and I'll just set that to the side so you can watch that for the rest while we go through the lab. So we're going to set that aside. You have two questions to answer about that, so make sure you watch and observe. Okay, next we are going to be using one tap water penny. We're going to be using some water from the tap. And what we are going to do is we are going to put drops on the penny until it overflows. When you drop, you want to make sure that you are straight up and down, like so. Okay, one, two, three, four. Side view of what the penny looks like with 15 drops of water on it. That was 14, I believe. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'll take a look. You need to draw this. Remember, I'll get even further down so you can see. 24, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, let me get some more, 34, and again, write that one, 35, and that's when it overflowed. So you can see what that looks like now. Okay, next we're gonna do the soapy penny. Okay, so we have just regular dish soap like Dawn. We're gonna put a few drops in the bottom of this 50 milliliter beaker. And then we're going to add some tap water to make our soapy solution. Water is the solvent and the dish is soap as the solute. Now we're going to use a different eyedropper so we do not cross-contaminate. So this one has only been used in regular water. So we'll see what we get for the soapy water penny. Okay, and here's our soapy water penny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and it overflowed. So significantly less drops than the tap water penny. Okay, we're going to check back with our chromatography paper. So you can see the water is rising and carrying the molecules of marker with it. You can see the green still in the middle, the blue on the top, and the yellow on the bottom. So we'll continue to check back with that. Okay, now we have a 250 ml beaker that is half full of water. And what it says to do here is we're going to take one shake of pepper 
this is just regular old pepper. Put it over here so you can see. I'm just going to shake it once into my hand. And I'm going to sprinkle it onto the top. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to sprinkle the pepper onto the water. And as you can see, it is staying on the top of the water. You don't see it falling down. It is still on the top. And it says to observe this for a couple minutes so you don't see it really moving. And you can kind of see those pepper flakes in there. Again, all sitting on the top of the water. So think about why something would float on the top of water. Not sink. Again, I'm reciting, recording from the side and the top. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to add a few drops of dish soap so you can see. So if you notice, all the pepper went to the side. And here is another look at your chromatography paper. It has been about 10 minutes. So now the green is completely gone and the yellow and the blue have separated. Uh, we're just above the 40 ml mark. We're going to place about five drops of water just in the middle of the wax paper, waxy side up, four, five, we'll do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so you can really see it. We're going to take our glass stirring rod and we are just going to try to separate this drop into many smaller drops. And you have to use a little bit of force. Okay? So, we are able to separate this drop into many smaller drops. And I want you to think about the terms cohesion and adhesion here. Okay. And once you do that, you're going to just lift the paper. See what happens. So one other thing you may or may not have seen during the lab, we're going to see what happens when the water droplet goes off the paper and onto a different surface. So think about why that is. And again, your terms are um, cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension. Another look at your chromatography paper, and it's been about four more minutes now. And as you can see, uh, the 40 ml mark is right here, so we are way past that. You can see it continuing to go, and there's a 50 ml mark. So we'll check in again in a moment. After about 15 minutes, and you can see that now the water is done climbing. Here's the 50 milliliter mark. Uh, when we last talked, it was just above the 40. So this is what the green marker looks like separated. And these are the results from the entire class periods and what their chromatography looked like with green vis-a-vis -vis marker.